Oh, oh, yeah. Janet Murphy, independent green candidate for U.S. House of Representatives. More trains, less traffic. Um, I'm with the Independent Green Party of Virginia, and people <clears throat> know about the Green Party because it's been around for about 30 years, but I would like to point out what the four basic pillars of the Green Party are. Social justice, economic sustainability, peace and nonviolence, and grassroots democracy. So to those abstractions, we've got an implementation layer, which would mean, let's have some more trains and less traffic. I was just reading, I'm in a book club. This is Jeffrey Sachs. He's a noted economist. China, which saves around 54% of its national income, is building hundreds of miles of subway lines and tens of thousands of miles of fast intercity rail lines. I don't want to make light of, of these things, but it might almost be because they actually have jobs over there. And whereas back home here, do we really need to get anywhere? I don't know. Maybe we don't. But um, anyway, personally, I'm, I'm a, this is almost three years that I've lived in Arlington now. I came to the metropolitan area in 1976. I'm from New England originally. I have a, ma a master's degree from UDC in counseling. I went to Computer Learning Center in Springfield, Virginia. I spent 13 years in IT, particularly at Rosslyn Metro Center. I spent uh, two years at a third-party cost estimating shop uh, back in um, the 80s, uh, where I learned all about third-party cost estimating for Aegis weapon systems. Yes, a lot of these jobs are, are being maybe targeted. Lockheed Martin is not sending out their letters that they're required to do 60 days ahead of laying anyone off. They're not laying anyone off. The Wiley Coyote, this is the Wiley Coyote supposed cliff we're headed for. You know how Wiley Coyote goes running down the road? Nying, and he's, oh, the whole bottom fell out. Well, you know, that's really a, almost a mythology here because the supposed <laughs> cliff and the sequester there's many, many silver linings to this thing, and, and in fact, um, I, I don't have that job anymore in the, um, as a defense uh, beltway bandit kind of person. I don't have that job anymore. There is life after defense jobs, and to me, I, I don't think we need all these defense jobs. We need to bring all this back home. So uh, anyway, more trains, less traffic, and also as far as energy goes, we need to stick to non-fossil fuels to try to um, not be the last guy on the mountaintop with the bulldozer. That's the last job they are going to have down in West Virginia. It's one guy in a bulldozer pushing all the rubble over burden into the stream where George Bush crossed out the little word in the Clean Water Act so that that's really okay now. I think I'm through, but I invite your questions on national issues, nuclear war, and Environmental disaster. And the next candidate. I, I am very uh, aware, as everyone is, how hard it is to get anything to move. When you read the uh, account of how the budget, uh, Obama's budget, and then the uh, pushback, and all the, and then it came back and they said, well, how about that deal you had before? Oh no, it almost seems, it really seems racist to me. Might be short, I'm just going to put it out there. I just don't know why there would be so much pushback from uh, the other side to these initiatives that the president puts together. Can't figure it out. Uh, but I did wonder, uh, Mr. Moran, what did you, why did you, I believe you voted no for that fast FIOS July 29th, 2011. Um, Fast files. Okay, um, Freedom of Information. It, it was a little, it was, it's the Budget Control Act. I voted against the Budget Control Act. It, that led to the sequester, absolutely. And the entire state of Massachusetts voted against it also. Well, they're quite thoughtful and light speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out. Well, it was a, there were a lot of other things in that bill. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I didn't of, think the Congress would be. I didn't think the Congress would be able to get together. And okay. Uh, okay. It, I mean, you know, and I was right. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I was right. But if they, if, uh, but I just, I was afraid we'd get into a sequester situation, and that's just what happened. That's why I voted no. What is it? Right. Well, 
this is not the question okay. period to each other <laughs> at the moment. I'm Janet Murphy. I'm with the Independent Green Party of Virginia, and we advocate for more trains, less traffic, more candidates, less apathy, socially responsible and fiscally conservative options. Peace, nonviolence, ecological sustainability, social responsibility, and grassroots democracy. Uh, I would say that independent voices in the in the campaigns are very precious. I'm glad Jason's stepped up, and uh, so I do ask for your vote um, on November 6th. And thank you for.